one of such examples is the electrolysis of water. In the process of electrolysis of water, we use the electrical energy for separating hydrogen and oxygen. Let's do another experiment using copper sulfate solution to study how to separate other components like water. For this, prepare a copper sulfate solution in a beaker. Dilute the solution till it attains pale blue color. We have to use carbon rods as electrodes. Connect the electrodes to the terminals of a battery and dip into copper sulfate solution. The solution contains positive copper ions and negative sulfate ions. The blue color of the solution is due to the presence of copper ions. Then switch on the battery where the electrodes are connected and allow to pass electric current through it for 10 minutes. What changes occur after the passage of electricity? The color of the negative electrode changes to reddish brown. The color and concentration of the solution are also seen to be decreasing. Why does it happen? We know that the solution contains both copper and sulfate ions. The copper ions in the electrolyte move to the negative electrode and accept two electrons from there. Then it becomes copper atom and deposits on the negative electrode. Due to this, the color of the negative electrode changes to reddish brown. At this time, the copper ions in the solution decrease. Because of this, the color and concentration of the solution also decreases. Electrolysis has so many practical applications. It is a process using in the large-scale production of hydrogen, oxygen, chlorine, potassium, calcium, magnesium, aluminium, etc.